Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this series, we're going to be creating this flashlight. We're going to start out by creating this component. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. Let's select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's set up the profile. All right, time to add some dimensions. This bottom edge here, we're gonna go ahead and make this 16 millimeters. Let's make this edge six millimeters. Make this edge three millimeters. We'll make this edge 14 millimeters. All right. This edge will make seven millimeters. And this edge will make five millimeters. All right, so we've got the basic shape here for all the vertical lines. Let's go ahead and make this 0.5 millimeters. We'll make this horizontal line two millimeters. And for this one, we'll go ahead and use the equal constraint. Select this line here and that line, and now they're equal. Let's bring this out a little bit. And let's go ahead and dimension this bottom line here to be 0.25 millimeters. All right, and now the sketch is fully defined. All righty. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Select the revolve command. Profile is already selected. The axis is going to be this edge here. Operation is new body. Okay. All right. Let's create a sketch on this top face. Let's use the offset command. Select this edge. We're going to make it negative 1.25 millimeters. Okay. Let's select the extrude command by hitting E. Select this face and make it negative five millimeters. Click OK. Let's rotate it around to the bottom. Create a sketch on this bottom face. Use the offset command once again. Select this outer edge. Make it negative 1.25. Select E for extrude once again. Select this inside profile, make this negative 16 millimeters. All right. Let's go ahead and start adding some fillets. So for this face right here, let's go ahead and make this five millimeters. Let's rotate it around, add another fillet, make this inside four millimeters. All right now let's go ahead use the extrude command select this internal face here and make it negative 12 millimeters all right let's go ahead and add another fillet select this face we're going to make this one millimeter click ok let's go ahead and add a fillet to this edge here and this edge here. And we're going to make this one millimeter as well. Excuse me, we'll make that 0.25 millimeters. All right. I thought it looked a little big. Okay. Now, what we want to do is create the grooves. 
Okay. Let's select the left view. Okay. Create a sketch on a visible plane. Start out by using the center diameter circle. Just put it in a point in space. And we'll make this 15 millimeters. Let's constrain it, the center point to the center point here. Let's add a dimension from this point to this point, and we'll make it 40 millimeters. All right, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's use the extrude command. Profile is already selected. Let's just drag the arrow out. We want the operation to be set to cut. We want it to be set to all. Click OK. Next, we're going to use the circular pattern command. Type is going to be set to features. Select the extrusion we just created. In the axis, we can just select this body here. And we want the quantity to be set to three. Compute option is going to be optimized. Click OK. All right. What we want to do now is create the knurling on this outside edge. Okay. So let's go ahead by using the coil command. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Coil, coil. Okay, there's the coil command. Sorry. We're going to start by selecting this edge here. From the center point, we'll drag it out and we'll make this 35 millimeters. Type is going to be set to revolution and height. Okay. It's going to be triangular, internal. Section position is going to be outside. Operation is going to be set to new body. Okay. It didn't pick up yet. There we go. All right. Revolutions is going to be set to point one. Height is going to be negative 13.7. All right. Section size, we're just going to make it one millimeter. All right. Just enough to make it visible for us. Okay. Click OK. Okay. Let's rotate this around. All right, what we want to do is create a sketch, okay, on that face, excuse me. Let me zoom it in properly. All right, there we go. I'm rotate it around. All right, now let's go ahead and create a triangle. Actually, first let's start out by creating a construction line from the center point. Bring it up just beyond that profile turn off construction and let's create our triangle make sure the triangle point at the very bottom intersects the construction line make sure you close it off all right let's use the equal constraint select this edge and this edge all right let's add some dimensions so we can lock this down okay all right now from this edge to this point we want it to be 0.25 millimeters. All right. We want the width of this top line to be 1.5 millimeters. And it got away from us. That's okay. So what we'll do is select this line here. We'll dimension it from the center point here to be 17.6 millimeters. All right, it's fully defined, locked into place. All right. Okie dokie. Finish the sketch. Now we're going to use the sweep command. Create, sweep, path plus guide surface is the type we're going to select. Profile is the triangle we have. Okay. Path, we're going to select this edge. Guide surface, we're going to select this surface here. All right. 
Operation set to cut, click OK. Let's go ahead and let's hide the second body. All right, and that's what we're left with. Now we're gonna use the mirror command. Create mirror, okay. Type's gonna be set to features. Let's use the sweep command as the mirror. The mirror plane, it's gonna be this plane here, facing this direction, okay. Compute option is gonna be set to optimize. We'll click okay. Next, we're gonna use the circular pattern command, all right. Type's gonna be set to features. The objects, we're gonna select both the sweep and the mirror. Axis, we're just gonna go ahead and select this bottom body right here, bottom face, excuse me, all right? And then the quantity is gonna be set to 43. Compute option is gonna be optimized. We'll click okay, let it do its thing. And there it is, all right? Now let's go ahead and add some threads. So we'll flip it to the bottom. Create thread, this inside face here. We want it to be modeled full length, okay? And designation, oops, back up a little bit. There we go, we want it to be 30. We're gonna set it to M30 by 1.5, okay? Click okay. All right. And last but not least, let's add some final fillets. So we'll select this entire edge here. And these series of edges. going to set it to point two and click okay and control four so we see that just a tad bit better all right control six to bring it back all right well that about wraps it up for this first part in this series i'll see you in part two